Good morning, Virginia. This is Virginia This Morning with Julie Bragg and Greg McQuaid. Well, hello there. Good Monday morning to you. It's January 5th. Well into 2009. Hello, I'm Greg McQuaid. And I'm Julie Bragg. It hasn't been a week yet. How are you doing with those resolutions? Well, our first guest, Vicki Griffith, explains why we should celebrate unresolutions. And I'm sure a lot of people would uh, tip their hat to that. Great to see you, Vicki. Yeah, good <laughs> to see you. It's a pleasure. Happy, a pleasure. New Happy New Year. All right, tell us, Vicki, tell us, you know, a lot of people make those resolutions. Right. How easy is it to break them? Mm. Well, only 17% of the population who makes a resolution will actually succeed. That's pretty low. The failure rate is really high for resolutions, and part of that is there's really no accountability. Mm -hmm. People kind of make them on a whim, so it, there's no reason to actually follow through. A little bit of that, too, is that they, um, they just, it, th because there's no accountability, they just don't know what to do with it. And then comes this inner, inner critic uh -huh. and this self-pity. Oh, I can't do it, or I'll never be able to do it, and what was I thinking? So what you can do to change that is, instead of making a resolution, set a target. Resolutions hmm. are pretty general. Mm -hmm. uh, about maybe like, let's lose weight, I wanna spend more time with the kids. Those are pretty general. So set a target. Put on the schedule what and when you're going to do these things. If you're gonna exercise more, put it on the schedule and let that go as, so, as far as instead of the general resolution. The next step is accountability, of course, so find support. If you wanna take a ah. walk, maybe go walk some dogs that need some attention or find a buddy or take a class. So become, some, become accountable to somebody or something. Because a lot of us do kind of all or nothing. Once we mess up, we exactly. give up, right? Exactly. And a lot of other people are failing at their resolutions. So what the heck? It's a once a year event. You got a whole <laughs> nother year. <laughs> I'll do better next year. Exactly, do better. Yeah. Except for dieting. Most people start those on Mondays, but then there are 52 Mondays in the year. Yeah. So you got a lot of Mondays people to start, start those on Monday. <laughs> yeah, I never thought do. about it. <laughs> Vicki, can you tell us, um, you hear a lot of uh, success rate if it's in black and white. Is there some validity to the fact that if you write a goal down or a resolution down, you're more apt to mm. be successful? I do believe that you are more successful if you write things down. Again, and be more specific. Don't make it so general. I want to lose weight is too general. I'll eat more vegetables every day. Mm -hmm. I'll exercise three times a week. That makes it more specific and easy for you to become a success. And what about you say parent the inner child? What do you mean by that? Well, a lot of times when you're failing, that inner critic starts having these demeaning voices about yourself. And when my clients look at that inner critic, a lot of times it is more representative of an inner child. Mm. It's a hurtful child that just wants attention and wants to be um, nurtured a little bit. That inner child is really a part of us that we've forgotten to take care of. So if you parent that inner child, you pay a little bit more attention, you put yourself back on the priority list, you'll be more successful at your, your goals. Vicki, can we revisit accountability? Um, mm -hmm. If you do make it through a week of resolution, can that help build self-confidence and to see that goal through? Absolutely, absolutely, and it deserves a reward. Mm -hmm. But mm. it depends on what you're doing, <laughs> what the reward is. Yeah. <laughs> if you're dieting, you may not want to reward yourself in chocolate cake, Yeah. but taking care Moderation, of your nails though. or taking a warm bath, yeah, something like that, or five minutes away from the kids. Do you find that certain resolutions tend to be more successful? I mean, so many people say, I want to be healthier. But are there certain ones that people seem to stick to more? It's the ones, again, that are more specific. Mm. So I want to be healthier. What does that mean? What does that mean that you need to change or do? What's the behavior that needs to be taken care of? When you co go to the core of what that is, then yes, you can be very successful. Example of that might be, I was looking at some of the notes we had down, maybe instead of just saying I want to be healthier, maybe I won't eat late at night after exactly. a certain time, exactly. something very specific. Correct. Huh. Exactly. How about uh, going to the gym? Right now, uh, the parking lot is uh, quite Jammed. full, but maybe by <laughs> early March you could find a spot. Um, tell us, what is it that will help us get to the gym and stay at the gym mm -hmm. throughout the entire year, not just for the first couple of months of 2009? A lot of that is self-motivation, which comes again from parenting that inner child. Exercise is basically taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And do you feel worthy of taking care of yourself, putting yourself again on that priority list? Especially as women, we take care of so many other people, mm -hmm. families, careers, uh, children, parents. We, we kind of slide off that list. So again, it's making sure that it's on the schedule. 
and making sure you're the priority for that moment, whatever that is. That's a good way if to look at it. If it's 10 minutes, great. If it's an hour, fantastic. Whatever that is for you. Every bit counts. Exactly. Thank Vicki, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Good to Thanks see you again. again. You too.